G'day everyone, Skunk here. In today's video we're going to talk about using the data link in the F-14B in the Rio position. We'll also use the Org 9 radar for some situational awareness and we'll touch on some IFF. As always there will be timestamps down below and if there's any other videos you'd like me to make please let me know down below. Otherwise, let's get into it. Alrighty, now that we are in the back of the F-14, we're going to talk about how we can link up to the data link, but we're also going to talk about some of the targets we have out in front of us. We're going to start with this part first, because then it's really going to show you the power of using the AWACS with the Org9 radar and some of the slip-ups that it can actually have. So, first of all, we will unport and go into TWS manual. We should find two targets out in front of us and right away we have two launch queues on two unidentified targets. This is great. Obviously we want to be able to launch on things as soon as possible, but we need to know what we're looking at. This involves a little bit of IFF and we can go through that right now. So if we slew over to one of the targets and come up here to the IFF button, hold that down and have a look at the double R block, that pretty small, and it lets us know that it is a hostile. If we come over to this other one, again, hold down the IFF button, look at the double R block, it's significantly bigger, which lets us know that is a friendly. So there you go, we have a friendly and a hostile in the airspace, the Org9 has recognized that and we can still launch on the one hostile. The trouble with um, obviously launching on unidentified aircraft is we could have hit this friendly. Now what I'll do is I'll lose these on the radar and link up to the data link so we can see what it looks like from that perspective. So if I come over here and what we want to do is use this panel down to the right hand side to link up with the data link and if you're unfamiliar with the data link frequency you can bring up your kneeboard and plug it in. So if we scroll along here's our data link frequency it's 311.30 and you can see we are always going to start with a 3 and we're always going to end with a 0. So all we need to put in is 311.3 and it's going to have the 0 on the end and there you go we are linked up with the data link. Now if we just pause again we can see the same symbology in front of us. We know this is a friendly, we know this is a hostile, but you can see we have this other hostile that was out of our scope. We didn't know he was there before, but now we do thanks to AWACS, and this is the AWACS down here at the moment. So, why is this important? Because the Org9 radar doesn't actually see these targets. We're getting information from the AWACS, it's getting sent to us and unfortunately we can't launch phoenixes with that information. Really the most helpful thing we can do, uh, the most helpful thing the AWACS does for us is let us, let us know who is in the area and which direction they're going. From here as Rios we can then focus our search onto the targets that we want and then lock them up with the Org9 radar. So let's do that. Let's unpause, go to TWS manual, and we're going to open up our scan to include the bandit on the left hand side. So as you can see, we have all three targets on our Org9 radar, but again, this first friendly target has become part of the picking order. It has a priority, we have our launch queue, and the Org9 radar, as far as it's aware, thinks that all three of these are unidentified. Like I said, the information between the Org9 radar and the data link is a little bit disconnected. I think this is familiar for F-18 pilots and probably F-16 as well. But this is something that can trip Rios up. So just double check that you are actually, you've got targets on your Org9 radar and not just the AWACS. To confirm this sort of stuff, you can use this filter down here, which just filters out the AWACS and then you can turn it back on just to make sure that you are actually seeing things on the Org9 radar and not just the AWACS. So what we'll do is we'll diagnose our friend as a hostile, oh sorry, as a friend, come across, select this person, hostile, 
hostile. And we don't really need to IFF because we've already done that and um, the AWACS has confirmed. Now we can hold down the launch button and launch on the two targets. Launching two Phoenixes towards a friendly is probably not the smartest idea, but for the purposes of the exercise, it just shows you that the Ulhan can differentiate between the friend and foe, and we can launch on two different um, aircraft. Now, the other most important thing about the all 9 radar and using it with the AWACS is situational awareness, not just out in front of us, but behind us. So, if we go to ground stabilize mode, we can see there's a bandit behind us. And this is a really good technique when you've got AWACS to figure out what's going on around you because a lot of the time, obviously, you're just looking forward. The org nine can only look forward. So to use ground stabilize and to get the information from the AWACS to find out what's beside you or behind you is super, super important. If we turn our frequency off by one, There you go, we have lost those um, data link contacts down behind us and we can't see them anymore. We still have these ones obviously because they are locked on by the Org9 and not the AWACS. And if we switch it back, we should get this information back again, there you go. And there you go, that is how to use the data link and the Org9 together. Hopefully you found this video helpful. I do try and keep it as tight as possible, obviously there are some things that we need to explain in uh, further detail and some of those longer videos will come out later on. I'm going to continue to make these videos that, well, I find helpful and things I learned along the way to become a better pilot in Rio. If there are any topics or videos you want me to touch on, please let me know in the comments below. I don't mind helping out whether you want to send me a message or make a video. Anyway, take it easy and we'll catch you next time.